excited. Uh, whenever I get to talk about this, it's always going to be a fun time. And you, you'll find out why, because some of the stories tonight are pretty amazing. Just like being in Hawaii. It's amazing to be in Hawaii. So just like the stories. So what I wanted to do is I'm going to share my screen. Share my screen. Oops, let me back up. Oh, hang on. Let me stop the share for a second here. I want to make sure I'm able to get this stuff here. Share this. There we go. Okay, and let's get to this deck here. All right, you guys can all see, you can see a thumbs up. Yes, we're good. Okay, fantastic. I'm going to minimize the screen so I can just, there we go. All right, so tonight's topic is we're going to focus a little bit, we're going to focus primarily on concussion, but we will get into some of the performance metrics because concussion is a big part of what we see in athletics. And actually one of the stories tonight is a, actually two of them, uh, one is hockey, both are hockey related, actually dealing with post-concussion. Um, and we're going to share some stories about what we have to help people when they have a challenge with what you can see here on the top left, healthy body needs a healthy brain. So I don't know what you guys know about the brain, but I'm going to keep it very simple. We're going to share some really cool things that we have learned about the brain. And I'm so happy to be here with Karen. Uh, we've been at this for, I think, four years now. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, Karen. But it's been an amazing road trip, which is, uh, let me go here. There we go, road trip. So speaking of road trip, so this is my background for all of you who don't know me. So my background is sports medicine, exercise science, health and wellness. I've been at this game for over 40, oh, I've just hit 40 years that I've been working in sports medicine, athletic therapy, health and wellness. And this is all part of my story. So I've been in pro hockey on the top left. I've been in professional football. I've been in professional hockey. Uh, I've worked with the Canadian forces. I've worked with the national soccer team. I've been at university level. I've done lots of cool things. And it's all the story which led me to this, what we're going to talk about with this technology. So what I want to go through is a couple things on the nervous system. I don't know if you know this, but... The nervous system is the first system that's formed when you are very, 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 very small in your mother's womb. When I talk to kids about the nervous system, I go, if the nervous system was the first system formed in the womb, it must be the most, and they all give me the right answer, even the kids, must be the most important, sir. Absolutely. And that's why we're going to focus on this, because if the brain isn't right, you're not right. Now, there's a couple of things here on the right-hand side you can read down through. But what I like here at the bottom is this one. And I came across this through one of our doctors. And if you look at this number down here at the bottom, to, get, to put everything into perspective, folks, this is 64 with 15 zeros beside it. This is how busy your brain is every moment that you are alive. So if it's, if it's orchestrating, 64 quadrillion chemical reactions a second. Like I said, it's busy. It's very busy. And so we're going to look at one of the challenges when it's not working properly, which is this one. Okay, so we know that in the brain, we have different regions. I call it different rooms in the house, if you want to use it from a simplistic perspective, okay? And, and they all work together. And this, there's a term that we use called homeostasis. And homeostasis, when everything is just working right. So all these different rooms in the house, all these different parts of the brain are all communicating back and forth to each other to do what they need to do. And when we have a challenge in this area, aka when we suffer a brain injury, a traumatic brain injury, whatever term you want to use, when we look at a concussion, I call it we damage the hard drive. So all of us who have a computer, which we all do because you're on a phone or a laptop, when they got the blue screen or the phone didn't turn on, panic set in. Well, when people suffer a head injury, and we'll get into the symptoms in a second, but there's different mechanisms of injury. 
at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how you get injured. Some ways are worse than others, okay, from a sports medicine perspective on the mechanism of injury. But the end of the day is you've damaged the hard drive. So when the hard drive is damaged, what happens? We get symptoms. Now, I've been around a lot of head injuries because of the sports I've been in. I've been involved in high contact sports, primarily hockey and football. So I've seen this and I'm going to share some good. I'm going to share some tragedies because it happens. And I'm going to share you some hope because that's what I love about this. So when you look at this screen, if you only have one of these symptoms, you have a concussion. Now, some people go, no, Kev, I heard you need to have at least two or three. No, if you have one of these symptoms, you have a brain injury. Why? Because they're all affiliated with different parts of the brain that have been damaged or injured or bruised, whatever word you want to use. And so when something's not right in the body, we get symptoms. You know, if you're sick, you get a temperature and my knee's really sore. So maybe there's something wrong with your knee. The body has all these warning signs to tell us I'm not right. Why? That's the sensory nervous system. It's monitoring you 24 7, 365. Again, 64 quadrillion chemical reactions a second. It's trying to keep everything working at its optimal. And when it's, when it's offline, as I call it, we have this. Now, unfortunately, if we look at this slide, when you have these, the nice thing about this, hopefully, is they go away right? You have a concussion, you get an injury, you give it some time and everything goes away and you come back to what's called so-called being normal. But sometimes and often what I'm starting to see now, that's not the case. Is in what we've learned about the brain is when the brain has been injured, it leaves a mark. There's a mark left in the brain when it got traumatized, whether when you're an infant, a child, an adolescent, midlife, Senior citizen, it don't matter. When you hit the brain and you damage it, it leaves a mark. And it may start to cause certain symptoms in the body. And then when they don't go away, these are the people you're going to hear about on these stories today. One's acute, but most of them are all post-concussion. So this is, this is you now. Kev, I got some challenges here. So you go to the doctor and they do an assessment. And they say, guess what, Kev? You've got PCS. You've got post-concussion. Yeah, I know, doc. I still have these symptoms. Thanks for, thanks for affirming that. Doc, are these ever going to go away? Well, Kev, uh, you need some more time. Or let's do some diagnostics. So we look at, you look at x-rays and CT scans and MRIs and functional MRIs and PET scans and QWEG brain mapping, which we're going to talk about. Because what I've learned about head injuries is you got to get to the root of the problem. In other words, it's like Apollo 13. Houston, we have a problem. I have a problem in my brain. Why? Because I still have some of these symptoms that haven't resolved. So the body's designed to heal itself. It's called neuroplasticity. Okay, it exists. But sometimes there's a lot of trauma and it says, you know what? I'm trying, Kev. I'm doing everything I can to get you home but I can't. So what happens, these symptoms start to linger. You start to hang around. And sometimes, which I've seen, they never go away. They stay. And this becomes a problem, right? Becomes a challenge, as I call it. Because in the healthcare field, my role in pro sports was, I got to get results. If I don't get you back in the game, I'm gone. So I'm very passionate about this because I don't like having an athlete, Kev, um, you know, my injury is not getting better. The coach comes to me and says, Kev, like, what are you doing? I hired you to get these guys back on the field. So I was always open to looking at what else is out there that's going to change the story. So one of the things I want to share with you, and you may not know about this, but part of my journey in this neuro journey, my last seven and a half years now, is QWEG brain mapping. Now, the beauty about this diagnostic tool, so for those of you that are dealing with a head injury, this is like, you can't fake this. This gives you a picture of your brain. You're going to see this in a second. And when you get a picture of your brain, it gives you a report card. It, it's going to tell you that, why am I having these problems? There's got to be something wrong upstairs. 
and they go, you get a brain map and you go, yep, here's the proof. Now, just so you know, I'm not going to get into all this, but you can start to see folks when you've suffered a head injury, post comp concussion, you can start to see on the subconscious, there's a lot of information flowing through your brain. Like this is insane. I can't imagine 400 million pieces of data per second. But when there's a compromise and it's not working at that speed, guess what? You got challenges. And how does it show up on a brain map? So what happens? So green, just so you know, is optimal. Dark blue are four variations below normal and bright red is like four deviations above normal. Uh, uh, too fast. Your brain is working too fast. Blue, it's too slow. Green, it's just green. You're on the beach in Hawaii. Red, you're stuck in a snowstorm here in Toronto. And blue, you're stuck in a traffic jam on a 401 going nowhere quick on I 95 in California, or not 995. You're some interstate in California going nowhere quick. Your brain is working too slow. So dark blue means your brain's working too slow. Red, red means your brain is working too fast. Green means you're just right. You want to see a lot of green. So watch this. I got my brain mapped a year and a half ago as I learned more about this. And I'm going to share some concepts about technology that's going to help your brain work better. It's like helping upgrade your hard drive from a brain side. So if you look at my brain map here on the left, you're going to see I've got this dark blue spot on part of my memory network. This next slide, I have just added two technologies, which you're going to hear about very shortly. Look what happened to my dark blue. Turn nice and green like being on the beach in Hawaii. This is no drugs, no chemicals, no surgeries, no needles, just wearable technology that does something wonderful to your brain to put it in a better place for it to work more effectively and more efficiently. That's all it's doing. And the brain says, I know what to do with the help, Kev. Kev, we got a problem here. We're not, working at, we're not working at an optimal level here on the brain. Kev, you know what? We're good now. We're where we need to be. We're in the green. Good. I want to have green lights all the way down that road I drive. No red lights. Just green. So what we're going to get into now, folks, is... We're going to share a couple of stories. I'm going to show you a couple of technologies. I'm going to share some other stuff from our doctors in regards to how we help your brain function better when you have suffered. And we're going to talk about concussion. So the stories you're going to hear tonight are all concussed related. But having said that, because the brain runs all the systems in the body, there's lots of possibilities of here of what this technology is able to do to help you function better. So Karen, I will stop the share and you're up. Wow, um, I should have brought my Kleenex because just looking at those pictures has already um, stirred some stuff inside me. So <clears throat> my journey, uh, started with Vox Life. It's actually going to be five years next month. So I'm really excited to uh, be celebrating five years. Um, but before Vox Life, I had gone through a lot of uh, childhood trauma. And after that, I had gone through a lot of physical trauma as far as things that caused, like Kevin was saying, symptoms. So headaches, um, restless leg syndrome, uh, sciatica, anxiety, mood swings. And, and I'll tell you why all of those things happened. Uh, when I was 16, I suffered my first car accident. I was with my mom in a parking lot at a shopping mall and got T-boned and the car came into the passenger side door, which is where I was sitting. 20 years old, I had another motorcycle motor vehicle accident where I was rear-ended on the way to my grandmother's funeral, whiplash. Uh, prior to that at 18, I had actually fallen off my horse, hit my head. So we're up to three concussions now. 22, I had another car accident. 
27, I fell off my horse again. 43, I had another motor vehicle accident where I was actually knocked out and had to get extricated from my vehicle. And 53, which was my last of uh, seven concussions. I, I shouldn't say I took a golf ball, but had a golf ball hit me in the head so many centimeter millimeters away from the temple. And unfortunately it happened to have been uh, right off the T block and I was standing in the wrong spot. So with all of the accidents and falling off the horses and going to doctors and you know, you go through the x-rays, everything's fine. Go through an MRI, everything's fine. Here's some gabapentin, here's some Lyrica, here's some opioids, have some more Oxycontin. It's just life. This is your new normal whatever. Everything was treated individually as an individual medical issue. There was nothing brought together to say anything else had happened. Lo and behold, I meet Dr. Passfield when I joined Box. And as I watch her and I'm watching these people doing these QEEG brain mappings, I start thinking, maybe, maybe these aren't all these different issues. And, and why am I taking all of these drugs all the time? And I'll tell you, as a seven year uh, breast cancer survivor, that's the last thing I wanna do is be putting medicines into my body or toxins into my body. So I started having some chats with Dr. Passfield and I said, you know, I'm gonna save up and I'm gonna go get my brain mapped. So I did that. And, you know, I had been wearing the technology for three years up until that point. One of the things she said to me is, when you come to visit me, you cannot have any tech on, nothing. I want you 48 hours without any technology, no socks, no patches, no sleep, no nothing. And I will tell you that three hour drive on the 401 on a highway, which is where three of my car accidents happened. And that's what invokes my anxiety to the point where my heart starts palpitating before I even get to the on-ramp to get on a highway. That was one of the worst drives that I ever had. But the outcome was the best that ever happened to me. Because having had worn the tech for three years and knowing that I had gone through seven concussions, I saw pictures of my brain. And I'll tell you, because of all of the back and forth head, you know, juggling around, I could literally see shearing of brain tissue at the back of my head, which is the occipital lobe, which, you know, plays into why I have problems with the vision. Then there were other areas of the brain that I could see things that had happened. And when Kevin showed the, the slide earlier, you could see that they are all different things that relate to different things, the way that your, your brain works. And every single symptom that I was having, the headaches, the mood swings, the depression, the anxiety, the sciatica, they were all symptoms of not only post-concussion, but a moderate traumatic brain injury. Now, had I not gone and had that QEG brain map done, I would have never known. So when talking to Dr. Sill and seeing the green on the map, one of the things that we noticed is, had I not been wearing this tech for three years prior, although I could see things happening in my brain map that I'm still working on to do better and to improve my neuroplasticity, there was a lot more green on there than what should have been knowing what I've gone through. So for me, it's been a blessing and um, I'm still on my recovery journey, but at this point, uh, I almost feel like I'm probably about 85% along in uh, recovering. So it's been amazing. And just for those of you that are new to this, so you heard the drug list that Karen was on. Now, I'm going to tell something with you first off that we do not treat, diagnose, and cure. You're going to hear about this tech from some other doctors here. All we do is we help optimize the brain. Karen, how many drugs are you on now? None. And I have not been on anything for five years. Yeah, that's pretty cool. 
So for those of you that are on looking for an option, welcome to football. Angel called it. I'm going to run an option play. I'm going to show you some options. These are drug-free options, folks. This is all about the nervous system. It's about helping your brain function better. And when I hear stories like Karen, when they are off all their meds and they are able to work life through just by adding something to their wardrobe, those are amazing stories. And you're going to hear four more. So here we go. So Karen, thank you so, so, so much for that. I was like, awesome. Okay, so here we go back to share screen. Okay, so um, so just uh, I'm going to pump Karen's tires here a bit, but she's done a lot with work with the military. Uh, this is Highway of Heroes. You can see this, and there's a lot of work we're doing with veterans right now in Canada and the USA. And I'm going to throw the word out there because PTSD is one of those side effects dealing with brain injuries. And if you remember the earlier slide, there's a picture from blast injuries. And I've come across these with my work with the CF members. When you're in a tank or you get hit by an IED, there's a shock wave. And the shock wave does damage. Okay, so we're learning more about this journey. So welcome to the road trip. So here we go. So next slide. Okay, so very quickly, we have different, I'm not gonna get into all these for tonight, folks, just for the sake of the time, but we have different technologies. I'm gonna focus on these two right here. I'm just going to focus on these two technologies here on the left-hand side of what these do to help optimize different parts of the central nervous system. This is all this is, is. So think if you've got five different rooms in the house and I got one other tech I don't have on the slide. I apologize. So we have actually six different neurotechnologies that optimize six different rooms in the house, if you want to use that term. The number we're close up to 8 million people help now with this tech. Okay. So why? There's a lot of hurting people. That's why you're on this call. Because Kev, I got a challenge and I'm looking for some answers. So here we go. So I'm going to show you how fast and how powerful this technology is. Because when I talk to my medical people, they go, no way. There's no way that this can change this fast. I said, you know what? Let's go back to brain mapping. Let's go back to some stories, but I'm going to show you with the first one on the left-hand side. This is Dr. Mark Debrinka. He's, he's, he's our VP of clinical strategies. He's going to show you live with a brain map. This is the 30-second video. How fast your brain, this is how fast I'm going to take you from a snowstorm in Toronto, Ontario, to putting on the beach in Hawaii in seven seconds flat. People go, you can get me in Toronto in a snowstorm and put me on the beach in Hawaii in seven seconds? Yeah watch the video so here we go i will stop talking i promise you watch the video you're about to see is specifically my limbic system only and then i'm going to step on the oops limbic system which controls your emotions and how you feel okay this is my limbic system now my feet just got placed on the insoles and we want it all green. Okay. To put this in perspective, you saw the red. Okay. The red is abnormal. The brain is working too fast. He was all excited about doing the test. Okay. So your brain's racing, right? You got an adrenaline rush. He stepped on the insoles. There's a pattern on the insole. Think of it as neural code. Your foot feels the pattern through receptors on your skin. It's called the sensory nervous system. That code is like the password on your cell phone. That code does something beautiful in your brain. What does it do? Put you on the beach, as I call it. Put you into homeostasis. So seven seconds flat, his now central nervous system is optimized through touch. That's one part. This tech works on what's called the brain stem. The brain stems responsibility, folks. Balance, power, stability, stamina, speed, endurance, posture, respiratory function, pain management, and recovery. That's what it does. You can go on Google, type in brain stem function. It's going to give you a list. So it's really critical. It's part of the central nervous system. That's what our tech optimizes. The next one is the sleeve. So these two go hand in hand. We're dealing with brain injuries. You're going to see why. This is a 60-second clip. It's going to explain how it works. 
through touch. Again, there's no drugs, there's no chemicals, there's no pills, there's no side effects. It's age safe, it's just touch. Enjoy the video. Whether we like to admit it or not, stress and anxiety wreak havoc on our bodies and minds. If left unchecked, they create interference in our cognitive networks, impacting their ability to perform. eSmarter's Cognitive Boost technology is based on the science of haptic perception. When it touches your skin, it activates a complex sequence of skin receptors, which generates neural signals that are decoded by the brain. These signals then resolve the interference in the neural networks that are related to stress, allowing the user's cognitive functions to achieve optimal mental performance, reducing stress and improving focus. Our Cognitive Boost technology has been scientifically proven to help improve your mental clarity. Over 100,000 people have used our smart compression sleeves to help them reduce stress and think more clearly. Supercharge your mind and find your focus with eSmarter. Powered by Cognitive Boost Technology. Whether we like to admit it or not. So. Mike, please go forward. You're about to see. Here we go. Okay. So what I want you to put in perspective, you can link back to the slide we have with post-concussion symptoms. A lot of times with the students I work with and athletes, cognitive function is a big part. So memory, focus calmness, clarity, anxiety, just like Karen's story. So I've got this sleeve on my arm. Karen's got hers. Why? If I can optimize the cognitive network just by wearing a sleeve, how simple is that? And you're going to see some numbers in a second. So this next clip is Dr. Joe Baldino. He's out of Chicago. I'm going to play the first 30 seconds and I'm going to get into, because we're concussions, they're going to get into a hockey story. He's going to share a patient that walked into his office, you might need Kleenex on this one, folks, because this is like this is like gut wrenching. Because I want you to put yourself in the position of this hockey player and a parent, because I've met these parents. I've met these parents of Kev. I got a child who's got a problem. What is it? The hard drive's not right, and it's starting to affect not only her; it's starting to affect the family. Because this is what happens with brain injuries. So. Play the first 30, here we go. My name is Dr. Joe Baldino. I have a clinic in St. Charles, Illinois, where we specialize in brain-based rehabilitation, as well as neuromusculoskeletal conditions. Pretty much every patient that I see, regardless of condition that they come in stamped with or uh, what we diagnose them as, I suggest them to use them because not only have I seen changes in them without my treatment using Vox, but I've also seen my treatments actually supplemented uh, by the by the addition of the neurotech. Typically, when okay, so what I want you to hear from what he said, think of this as a tool to add to whatever therapy approach you are using. Speech therapy, neuromuscular reconditioning, osteopathy, cranial sacral, massage, chiropractic, it doesn't matter. Think of adding something to the recipe to help the brain function better. Now I'm going to take you to the story, which is right here, so 15, and I'm going to play this. It's, you know, where it just became part of the conversation now. We had this young kid, a uh, 17-year-old kid. It was one of the first times I ever used Vox by itself without me intervening in the beginning. He had a, uh, a concussion so bad that there, a, an artery ruptured inside his brain and then the blood started to accumulate in the skull and started crushing on the brain. To the point where he got into the car with his family after this hockey game and he looked around the car and he's like, you all look like really nice people, but can you take me back to my family? And so he couldn't recognize anybody in the car, his mom, his dad, he's got the brother and sister. So they immediately bring him to the, the ER. He gets this decompression surgery and essentially he's just left you know to to just heal and a few months go by after he's healed but he has almost none of the same personality anymore no traits he can't pay attention in school he was this division one athlete on track for go to uh, a law school is what his aspiration was and when i met him he had gotten kicked out of school because he then started fights, like his whole personality and demeanor changed. And when he came in to see me, I run a lot of tests where I look at eye movements and balance. 
and this is a division one athlete like he should have impeccable athleticism and he almost had none of it and there's a test i run that looks at the speed of eye movements and when i ran this test on him you're supposed to pick up a certain amount of eye movements and he literally the machine only picked up one out of a hundred and it was just profound like he's he doesn't even have the tools to generate a movement of his eye so it's like i was really hopeless that i could do anything for him but something just gave me a, a nudge to say hey try try these socks on him and so all i did was i ran this eye test didn't get very good results at all put the socks on him and left him for about five minutes till it took me to reset this eye test and then re-ran the test and the most profound thing was all of the all of the eye movements like 50 in each direction came back and it was like mind-blowing to the point like you know, me and the, the parents were like high-fiving each other because it was like it just woke up the area I needed to use to help rehab him. So it was like it wasn't there beforehand. And in my training, if it's not there, I can't use it. Since uh, I've started adding Vox to the patient protocols, uh, the I've been getting such profound feedback that people noticeably can feel a difference if they miss a day wearing their socks or not, then somebody described it like wearing, wearing glasses. It's like you wear glasses for better vision. When you don't have them, you have poor vision. Same sort of thing. So when you hear this story, I use the M word. We can use miracle. Because here's a kid, D1 athlete. I call it a, neuro, we call it a neurological inconvenience or a neurological storm. And he can't get out of the storm. Why? Because the brain has been compromised. And the brain is trying, but it just can't get there. And then this tech comes in, and you're going to see a slide here in a second. That I want to, this is why it's so profound, folks. So think of this D1 hockey player, Karen. The HPT technology is in a form of a patch sock a sleeve an insole undergarment we have different ways you can wear it but i want you to look at the average improvement in brain function so what i've learned in, in neurology is this folks it's not how you look it's how you function if you're not working on eight cylinders you got a problem you need to be what orchestrating 64 quadrillion pieces of information per second your brain is doing 400 million pieces of data subconsciously. That's a speed it has to work at. So when it's slower, you feel it. So imagine putting on something that's going to give you an average of 36% improvement in brain function. This is, a, this is unheard of, folks. There's nothing. I, I've done this with pro athletes. They are blown away. So watch this one. This is the sleeve. This is what Karen was wearing driving down the 401. This is what my students use. People who have anxiety challenges. Why? They, they, their brain is like spinning. They can't get in the zone. Our studies, what does it show? On average, 41% improvement in brain function. If you just took the sleeve and the HPT, so this is cognitive boost technology, cognition. 41 and 36, do the math. 77%, it's a B plus. If you're shooting nothing but Fs all day long in school and I can walk and say, I can help you get a B plus, would you like to know, learn about that? Uh, yeah, where do I sign up, Kev? Um, here, let me show you what I do. So this is the beauty of what we got, okay? So a few more stories and then we're gonna bring it to a close because it's stories that impact the world, folks. It's like Dr. Joe telling a story of a client who comes in, who's lost, who's lost. And they're looking for answers. They didn't share this in the video, but they had seen like at least a dozen other neuro specialists before Dr. Joe. Dr. Joe, by the way, if you're in Chicago, he gets the worst of the worst. He gets the people that never got any results with anybody else. So imagine you've gone through 12 specialists, can't get an answer, and not get you shooting nothing but F's. And you walk into Dr. Joe 
and Dr. Joe have learned something. He's a smart man. And he goes, let's try something. Because right now, you got nothing going on upstairs. So here we go. So this is a hockey. These are, these are my, some of my stories, folks. So this is a hockey player, a junior hockey player. It's a post-concussion story. Um, the front side of the story, he had a career ending. He had two, he had two concussions in the season. The second one was a career ender. And when I met Nathan or Coley for short, Coley was in a really dark place. I had just come into the tech about uh, during that season, season's over. I followed up with Coley, how he was doing. It was like, Kev, I'm in, I'm in a bad place, Kev. Um, tell me what's going on. He says, I lost my scholarship. I had to drop out of school. I had to quit my job. I can't function properly. I can't work. I'm at home. I'm depressed and I'm going down the wrong path. And I'm very blank. I'm very, I'm very direct folks. I have lost pro football players to suicide. We've seen what happens to the brain when it, just like Dr. Joe talked about this young hockey player had a different personality. Why? Because when the personality networks are affected by a traumatic injury, you're not, you don't make the same decisions anymore. So Coley's going down the wrong path. He's going to the path six feet under the ground. That's where it's going. Because that was our conversation. Because we met up after he got into the tech. And you can hear a story in a second. And I go, Coley, can I ask you a question? And he goes, yeah, I can. I said, when you were in your dark spot, did you ever think of taking your life? He goes, every flipping day, Kev. I said, why? Because I had no life. Because he lost everything. Because when the brain goes, folks, welcome to dementia and Alzheimer's. We know those stories. When the brain's not right, you're not right. This young man's now acting. He's in television. He's in drama. And he's alive. Here's a story, not Kalito. Want to go for a run? Want to go for a run? We made it. How'd that feel, buddy? All right, I'm pooped. First run of 2016 in the books, post concussion. Felt good. You can definitely bet I'm wearing my box socks. What are those? If you don't know who I am, my name's Nathan. And if you have no idea what Box Life or human performance technology is, check out more at their website at boxlife.com. Now my Vox story comes from me playing in the Ontario Junior Hockey League for about four years. I've had several concussions over those four years and my last season was when I got my worst one. Now my post-concussion syndrome lasted a long time. I had terrible symptoms that were always in the way. They were getting in the way of my personal life, my relationships. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't leave the house. I couldn't be in a crowded room without being anxious. Now there's so many more symptoms that somebody with post-concussion can experience. But I'm not going to sit here and explain all those. What I really want to tell you is how Vox Life has changed my life. Now at this point you're probably wondering what does Vox Life or the socks that I'm wearing have anything to do with my post-concussion syndrome. Now the people at Vox Life have taken that technology I mentioned, HPT, they've put in that technology into a sock you can wear it every single day and not even think about it. Now this technology is known to better your balance, your strength, your posture, your recovery time and so much more and it does that by bettering the communication between your nervous system and your midbrain. Everybody has a midbrain so everybody can benefit from this product and you can just imagine how somebody with post-concussion syndrome may have issues with their midbrain. Now fast forward about eight months of terrible symptoms. I got in touch with the people at Vox Life again and I started wearing their sock. Within a week I seen dramatic improvements in my symptoms. I was sleeping better, I had less headaches, I was less anxious. I could do more things, I could live a normal life. Whereas before, these constant symptoms that can draw you into a dark world took over my life. Now essentially what these socks did was give me a platform to get out of that dark world that I was stuck in. My relationships are healthy now. I can do things that I couldn't do before. I can finally read properly again. 
I can go out, I can live a life. Am I perfect? No, but I'm better. And that's all that matters. I just want He's gonna just give me accolades, but you don't have to hear that, it's okay. Um, it's a very special story because he's a young man and when he helps change, save a life, it's pretty powerful. This so next one, this is, this is amazing. Uh, backstory, folks, this was a patient of mine in my sports medicine days who reached out to me and he had suffered a fall. He had fallen down 12 steps in his, in his home, was unconscious for about 45 minutes until his roommate found him at the bottom of the stairs. And he phoned me one day. And as soon as he called me, within the first two seconds, I knew something was wrong with his brain because his speech was affected. And I said, Samandra, I need to see you right away. Now, I'd helped him about three months prior with a knee injury. So I was on speed dial. So I made a home visit. I'm going to show you how beautiful this technology is in changing brain function. You saw the brain maps. Now you're going to hear it live. So this experiment, so I was all excited to go see this guy because I've seen so much, right? So he's going to read the first video on the left-hand side is Samendra reading the post-medical report at the hospital when he shows up. So I said, I want you to read this. He's got no technology on his body. He's got, so if you look on the right, you can see this blue patch. This is the HPT technology or the midbrain of what Nathan's talking about. Here's the sleeve on the cognitive, okay? So here it's just Samendra, 17 days post-conch. He's gonna read, you watch the clock. I went and got two copies of Starbucks, one for me, one for him, came back 30 minutes later. It takes about 20 minutes for this tech to kick in with, this, with the CBT tech. This is under seven seconds. I said, we're gonna do an experiment. I'm gonna have you read the same paragraph again with adding this and welcome to the B plus. I took him from an F, get F on the left and I got him to do a B plus on the right. Listen to his speech, watch the clock. Same paragraph, 30 minutes. Watch the story. Here we go. The teacher, history of pre pre present illness. This 47 year old gentleman presented to hospital on July 2nd after an unwitnessed fall from stairs. He believes this was a mechanical fall due to misstepping on the stairs. He reports that he was unconscious for one hour and then found by his roommate. At that time, he called EMS and was brought to hospital as he was unable to get up on his own. Okay, so you could, so this is about, this is 40, it's 40 seconds. And you can hear a speech. It's not, it's not working at 400 million pieces of data per second. Because speech is controlled by the autonomic nervous system. Speech is controlled by the brain. So when the brain is damaged or inconvenienced, you have slurred speech. The words are difficult to enunciate because that's how the tongue works and vocabulary and processing and reading and vision and all this stuff. So it's slow, 40 seconds. This is 30 minutes later. Listen and watch the clock. This is beautiful. Here we go. Okay, history of, of uh, presenting illness. This 47 year old gentleman presented to hospital on uh, July 2nd after an unwitnessed fall from the stairs. He believes uh, the, this was a mechanical fall due to misstepping on the stairs. He reports that he was unconscious for one hour and then found by his roommate. At the time he called EMS and was brought to hospital as uh, he was unable to get up on his own. Look at the difference, folks, 32 seconds. He's eight seconds faster. He has emotion in his speech. His clarity is much better. That's the beauty of neurotechnology, okay? That's how powerful this is.
There's nothing in the world that does this. It doesn't take the place of speech therapy. He's still doing his, you know, he's much better. It doesn't take the place of rehab. It's just a tool. Okay. And just a couple it's things here. Okay. So just quickly to wrap up, I got one more short one here, which is a very powerful one for me personally. Um, but we have a testimonials page on Facebook. We have over 50 by almost 55,000 testimonies now from everyday people who've had their quality of life changed by wearing the technology. It's quality of life, folks. That's all it is. So if you want to learn more, connect with the person at the end. This one is my brother. Um, you're going to see a video on the left. This is a demonstration we do with balance and stability. This comes back to the brainstem. This demo, I'll talk about it at the end, but I want you to watch what happens to my brother and watch his facial expression. My brother had a four by five glioblastoma tumor taken out of his brain three days before this demonstration. So I show up in the neuro ward on day one and I'm doing the night shift. I'm sleeping with my brother. Why? Because he didn't know anything. He goes, Kev, why do I have this bump? And if you look closely on, the, on his right-hand side, he's shaved. He's got 30 staples in the side of his head. He doesn't know where he is. He doesn't know how he got to the hospital. He doesn't remember falling. He doesn't remember anything. He says, Kev, why do I have this bump on the side of my head? Mark, you had a concussion. You had to fall. How did I fall, Kev? I don't, I don't remember falling. We didn't tell him about the tumor yet. It's only three days. Doesn't need to know yet. But I was so pumped about this tech that I got to help my brother. Why? He had a brain in a four by five tumor taken out of his brain. Watch the demo. Watch my brother's balance, what he knows about stability. He's a post office work carrier. So he's got great balance, great athlete. Watch the demo. He's going to step on the insoles. You saw this with Dr. Dr. Joe in the clinic. Watch what happens to his balance. I'm going to tell you a quick story at the end and we're going to bring it to a close. So here we go. My brother, Mark, three days post-emergency neurosurgery. Here we go. Right now, make a fist. Keep your arm tight against your side. I'm going to put my hand on your fist. Okay. I'm going to slowly pull up on your fist. Okay. I want you to push down. Okay. Be careful. Don't let, don't let me lift your arm up, okay? okay. I'm yep. going to pull up and yep. push down. I want yep. you to resist it. Yep. Don't let him fall. Okay. Wow. Okay. <laughs> You're weak. I'll do it one more time. <laughs> try harder? No. Yes, try, try harder. harder. Have to try. Like, just meet my, hard? just meet my resistance. No, meet your resistance. Okay. Meet my resistance. Okay. okay. I'm okay. going to pull up and push down. I want okay. you to resist me. Okay. Okay. So you just feel your foot comes off, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Step under the tackle. Now he's going to get a 36% improvement to average on brain function yeah, on the midbrain, on the brain stem. You can, see the, you can see the bruising under his eye. You can see the shave where they cut him. Watch what happened. <laughs> nice pants. <laughs> Watch what happened to his balance. Okay, well, you know, I never know Look where straight the next ahead. girlfriend's coming Three from. Three days. Look straight ahead. Lock your elbow. Okay. Make a fist. Yeah. I'm going to pull up. Yeah. I want you to push down. Okay. Resist. Oh move. my goodness. That's crazy. That's nuts. <clears throat> That's crazy. Step off the deck. Come back. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay. That look in his eyes, I never forget it. Just so you know, I have done this demo for the last seven and a half years on NFL, NBA, Major League Baseball, CFL, NCAA, Olympic athletes. They can't pass the demo. They can't stand still without me disturbing their balance. Everybody's compromised. And then they step on the insoles or they put on the socks or they wear the neuro patch and they go, like my brother, what the flip just happened? It's a 36% average. This is my brother four and a half days post-emergency neurosurgery. We got him home. That's his son. That's Luke. He's 20 yards away from my brother. You saw the picture here. It's still him. Watch the throw with the football. <laughs> 20 yards right to his son. That's the beauty of an optimized brain when it's not optimized. 
and you just put something on your feet and away you go. So the last one is the, just to thank, bring it to a close and we'll open up the Q and A at the end here is the mission of Ox Life, I call it sharing is caring. All of us that who invited you to this have had their lives radically changed in the most profound, beautiful way, whether it's themselves personally or a loved one that we reached out to that had a quote unquote neurological inconvenience. And what I've learned folks in my last seven and a half years in this journey is I really don't care what you have because the brain knows what's not right. And when I give you a tool to wear, it's like the brain getting this help saying, Kev, I know where to send the help. And that's what it does because the brain's job is to keep you alive 24 seven. That's what God, that's what God made it for. He said, the brain runs the body and the brain's not right. You feel it. And so all these people that you saw tonight all had an inconvenience. Hockey player, another hockey player, brain surgery, Karen, um, Samendra falling down, hitting his head. Kev, I got a problem. Yeah, I know I can tell by your speech. Uh, can you help me, Kev? Yep. Why? Already seen it. I've already seen. I know it's going to help. I got the brain map. I got all that stuff. Let's do a let's do a real time test. So I'm just going to stop the share here. So folks, I'll just go to gallery view here. So folks, this is this is why Angel invited you. You got to see this for yourself, man. This is like there's nothing like it in the play. It doesn't exist. I've been in this game for 40 years, folks. Seven and a half years ago, my world got rocked on the demo that you saw with my brother. Jay, the inventor of the technology, did the demo on me. I got absolutely annihilated. I got crushed. And I was so upset because I've been teaching balance and stability for 33 years. I got taught by very smart people. I got certificates and plaques. I learned some stuff, but I failed Jay's test. I got an F. I got an F. I, got, I, I need an A, man. It says here, step on these insoles, Kev. I stepped on the insoles and I got planted in cement like my brother. And my second meeting, folks, was with an NBA team here in Toronto. They were like, what is this? It's technology. You decide. It's your body. You're the one playing basketball, not me. What do you want to do? You want to be better? Have an optimized brain. Otherwise, you're stuck in a snowstorm. You're stuck in a traffic jam. You're stuck, you're stuck somewhere. You're not in the beach in Hawaii. I'm going to stay with Hawaii. Because that's an analogy I used. People can understand that. I said, I can either put you on the beach in Hawaii, or you're stuck on an interstate, stuck in a traffic jam on a Memorial Day weekend. Where do you want to be? Uh, I want to be in the beach in Hawaii. Good choice. Nobody says, oh, I want to be stuck on I-75 or I-95. I want to be stuck in the interstate. Kev, no, Kev I got to get off that interstate. I got to get the homeostasis. Why? Because I got a problem, Kev. And I'm looking for answers. And so everybody's journey is different. That's why I showed my journey at the beginning. Everybody's journey is different, folks. But I do know without a shadow of a doubt that when you do wear the tech and the brain mapping, you saw the images. You know, Dr. Mark, he, he was blown away with this tech. This is what he does. He says, the picture is the picture. You can't fake that. And we got the studies. And we, but I said, the stories, Karen, Nate, my brother. My brother's not here anymore. My brother's gone. But I got another year with him. I got to spend another year with him to keep him fighting, to give him a shot. Because we only got one shot on this planet. That's what we got. So that's Vox life. That's neurotechnology. That's what we have. That's why we did this call to educate. Strictly to educate. That's all it is. Because some people, like I said, they're looking for answers. And they can't find them. And I'm not saying you're... So anyway, I'll stop on that. So we have a solution, folks. We have a drug-free solution. No side effects. No chemicals. No pills, 
all we do to optimize the nervous system. So if you want to learn more, reach out to the person that invited you to the call. And if you want to stay on after the call for a Q&A, happy to help you. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Karen. I got to stop share. I got to share some.